What's Hello. up? <laughs> go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. Hi, it's Pre. We're back. Um, Vlogmas day. I guess this is seven now. Seven? Yes, seven. No. Yes, it is. It's seven because we missed two days and we were at five and we did six yesterday. So today's seven. Okay. Yeah. So it is seven. Yeah, it's seven. I'm just playing with you. It's seven. I'm just playing with you. But yeah, anyways, it's your boy Jordan, aka Prince in the Bin. You know what's up with the kid? You know going down with the kid. I'm hungry. Before we get into today's video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, subscribe. and turn your bell notifications on. So you get all the updates every time we post a video. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm digging? You know what I'm feeling? I'm hungry. Yeah. So today's video is another mukbang, and we're going to be talking about what our plans are for Christmas. We're just be talking about like, you know, what we like about Christmas and what we want to do for Christmas and you know, da 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 So what are we going to get to eat? Yeah, food? we are, but we got to do our socks, duh. He kept my last ones. Duh. Yeah, I kept our last ones. I didn't yeah. like those. So All now. Right. Number one, seven. Because number, look num at Stitch. He's number so six. Number six. This is hard. Again. Mine are not hard. Oh, God, Jesus, Lord. Have Please don't tell me they're, they're orange again. Oh. Oh. Dog, you know what? Forget all this. I hate orange. Forget all this. Bet. Got mine. Okay. Superman. I like Superman. One of the best superhero ever. These are cute. I just hate I like orange. those. Those are cute. You can have those too. All right, I'll take like, these. I don't like orange. I hate the color orange. Come on. I was hoping for like pink or something. That's crazy. But yeah, I like Superman. Best superhero ever, in my opinion. And I like the Hulk too. One of my favorites. By the way, I'm stealing his Batman socks. Yeah. That Batman sock you got on like day two, I think. I'm stealing those. I see this. Batman's the best superhero. Well, you know. want proof? Who's in the center? Okay. Exactly. Whatever. Now Wait. we hungry. Now so. we get to eat. We get to eat. Thanks. They tied the bag really well. We went to a Greek place where they have like Middle Eastern food and they had kebabs and stuff. And I hope the guy understood what we were saying. Yeah, I hope he did. Because I asked for lamb kebabs. If it's lamb something else, I wouldn't mind either as long as it's lamb. I think he got the lamb part right. Oh, they're lamb pitaras. They're even better. Use are mine or yours? We both got the same thing, but you one. You got a salad. Yeah. Woo! I was, hold on. Look at that. Right there. Salad. We got pizza bread. And then we got lamb cooked with the sauteed, um, you know, vegetables. I couldn't get the onion and tomato words out of my mouth, but you know. Yeah. And then we got dressing. I don't know if y'all can see that. I don't know. Let me show y'all mine. Banging. Can y'all see it? Can mm. y'all see it? Can y'all see it? It's banging. Pizza chips. That's banging right there. We got pickle shaped fries, which we call pita fries. And pickle shaped fries? Let me see what they, let me see what they call. Oh my about. God, it's the yogurt thing. That's my favorite stuff ever. That's bomb. Yogurt with cucumber, onion, and cilantro. I eat that all the time on a regular, so. That's bomb. Where's my fork? You better go get one, because I took mine. We'll be right back. I gotta go get a fork, okay? All right, y'all, we back. Yeah, sorry about that, guys. Mine. Sorry about that, guys. Um, Boy! I, I had to go get my fork. She had to go get her sauce. And we're back. So the topic is basically what we I said earlier. What we're going to do for Christmas and what we like about Christmas, what we don't like about Christmas, and all that, yada, 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 yada. So, me, there's nothing. I'm done. Well, I mean, like, for me, Christmas, like, her, my Christmas, her Christmas is a complete two different Christmas because she was born in the North, so she gets to see snow. So, it feels more like Christmas here. And it's like, it's cool and it's better like that. And honestly, I, I would love to experience something like that on Christmas. But I was born in Florida, South Florida. It's hot. So every day is hot. It's not cold. No, none of that. It's just straight hot. So every Christmas, well, not every Christmas, sometimes, well, to me, my cold and her cold are complete two different colds. Her cold is like in the negatives. My cold is like in the 50s. 
50s and 40s and stuff like that and below. So she's used to the, the weather when it gets cold here in Florida. And I'm starting to get used to it, but I still don't like it. But it's been cold on Christmas, which is my birthday. If y'all didn't know, by the way, or not, y'all know. But that's the only thing I don't like about Christmas is that uh, it don't snow because like it don't feel like Christmassy. Oh, to me, like with my family, I'm fine, cool with that. But, you know, if snow would just make the total package. It just make the whole total package. And honestly, I, you know, it, it's cool. But, you know, she has a different because she was born in the north. And she gets to see snow like all the time, which is like, I never get to see snow. I never saw snow before, only on the movies and, and the internet and stuff like that. And I will honestly love to see snow. It'd be really, really cool. It'd be really, really cool to actually see snow. So that's what the only thing I don't like about Christmas is that I don't get to see snow. I've never really celebrated Christmas. All like getting presents, putting up Christmas tree, never done it. Um, Christmas feast. Never had it. Um, I don't know what else there is to Christmas. Besides um, presents and a Christmas tree. And think, the thing on the front door. I think my family does cook for Christmas. I think so. I'm not too sure. I think we do. I think Raspberry we do vinaigrette? Huh? I said, if you had to tell them what kind of dressing I was using. Oh, but yeah, I think we do cook. Just not as much as for Thanksgiving. But, like, you know, I get a birthday cake and all this stuff. We don't celebrate Christmas. Thanksgiving either. Oh, you'll sleep. You're going to give us gas. I love it. Love mm. the food. Mm. But, um, yeah, like, I just spend time with my family. And honestly, I'm okay with it. I love it. Like, I love spending time with my family. I, like, I always miss some of that stuff. And, yeah, like, that's the only thing I don't like about Christmas. And then, like, everything else about Christmas, I love. I spend time with my family. I open presents. Get a birthday cake. Eat cake on my birthday. Play basketball with my family because we go outside and play ball and shoot hoops. Everybody comes together. I just love it. too cold for all that. Well, it's still, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, you know, my Christmas and your Christmas are completely different Christmases. Yeah. I can actually go out and play, and she can't go out and play because it's, like, freaking... Actually, we can, but we do snow angels and have snowball fights, build snowmen, have wear your boots and make the snow, have the snow come up to your knees, stuff like that. And then you go inside, sit in the front of the fireplace for a nice glass of hot cocoa. That's what you do. So your mind's different. It'd be hot. So you go outside and play, shoot hoops. It's like eight. While the grown folks be playing cards, blackjack, poker, whatever, we be playing that. While I hate I'm, tomatoes. Sometimes I would join or I'd just be on the courts with my cousins and my sister and my, the rest of the family with the kids. We all just play around, play ball. We're just a sporty family, so that's all we do is just play ball and stuff like that. Not mine. So we do that. But, like... Now, this year is different. Me and her are going to spend Christmas together in our own apartment, our own place, with our dog, and it's going to be a whole new experience. It's colder here where we're at now than back home. So it's like, it's still not like snowing, but it's colder. So now it's okay. I kind of want to see snow, but like, you know, it's cold and, you know, I still get to kind of, I still get to kind of feel the Christmas vibe of the cold part. Mm -hmm. So now... It's like, okay, I'm, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. It's like I'm baby steps, baby steps before I get to the snow. Like basically, it's preparing me when I actually get to see snow on Christmas and stuff like that. I actually wanted to go to New York for um, New Year's, but the stupid pandemic going on, and we're probably just not going to be able to go because it's not the same when New Year's has a countdown and, like, you know, everyone's like gathered around, there's a parade, there's all sorts of stuff, and I don't even see that happening this year, so sucks. Maybe yeah. next year. So we're gonna be spending time with us. Or time with us. We each other on Christmas, give each other gifts and stuff like that. We're gonna videotape it for you guys to show y'all, decorate the house. All that. I've never wrapped presents before. So yeah, it'd be it'd be, it'd be a new experience for her and a new experience for me because we're doing it together and it'd be very fun. And I think and I could show her some things. And I think it'd be a really cool thing to do together. Our first holiday together, like by ourselves. And this is I think it's cool. I think it's cool. I think it's really cool that like I know Christmas isn't about presents, but like I think it's a really cool concept that like. You don't know what you're getting, and like people like wrap presents up and give it to you on Christmas, and you open it, and it's like, oh, I think that's cool. And some people make like wish lists and stuff. Mm -hmm. She already knows what I want. 
There's a few things, but I don't know what I'm Well, that's the thing. You're not supposed to tell the person. They're supposed to like get it and leave it surprised. But ooh. Exactly. So don't tell me that you're going to get me, but. You told me what you wanted. I so. told you like at least 10 things. See what I mean? 10 things. It's wild. Now, if I get one of those 10 things, she's just, just expect one of those 10 things. So she's not going to get excited. So now I'm going to get her something that she never told me. So I'm like, yeah, you got to get excited. Me, I just want a cake. That's it. I really like presents. Oh, yeah, like, it'd be nice. But I just like spending time. So cake, all that because it's my birthday. So, yeah, that's it. Honestly, I just like spending time with my family, my girlfriend. And honestly, that's that's his enjoyment for me for Christmas. Just spending time with the people. I love being around. That that's this is me. If I get presents, I get presents, and you know, I, I and I love the presents. But for me, I always spend time with people. I love being around. My uh, family's never been that kind to like. Oh, we love being around you. We're gonna like you know celebrate holidays together. We don't do that. Like we've never done that. The only time that happens is for weddings. Like a whole month, everyone just sees each other, and it's like mm -hmm. you didn't know you had like two thousand relatives. So, hmm. Well, besides that, mm mm. I'd rather get presents, see my immediate family. That's about it. I'm also not a people person. I said that in multiple videos by now. I'm an introvert. I am antisocial. I don't, I'm not a people person. I'm really not. If I first meet someone, it's going to get me a little time to warm up to them. That's why I said in the last video that first impressions don't face me. I don't care about first impressions. I really don't. Like I said in other videos before, I'm a people's person. First Not impressions me. are everything to me. We're like polar opposites on that end. Mm. First impressions are like everything to me. Like everything. You don't give me a good one, I'm not going to rock with you. I don't care. You not. You can't make it up. You can't make it up. There's no way in hell you can make it up. Because I am already, I already think bad vibes about you already. I don't care. I'm not a judgy. <clears throat> I'm not a judgy person. Mm. Mm. I wouldn't say judge you, but for me, it's all about character. What do you mean? Your character tells a lot about tells a lot about a person. Yeah. The way you hold yourself, the way you talk, the way you stand, the way you walk, the way you carry yourself, all that ties them together. And, and honestly, that's a first impression too. But people expect me to be a rude, mean person when they first see me. And that's the thing, first impression. And when they meet you and they know you're not, you're not. No, I'm like that when that people first meet me too. Mm -hmm. People are like, why is your face like that? No, when she met my friend, she was like, she was shy, but she wasn't like. Well, that's his friends, it's kind of different. I wanted them to have a good impression of me. So it's like, kind of just a little bit to try to have a shy outlook instead of the more um, mean outlook. So yeah. She they probably do think I'm crazy by now though. They definitely think you're crazy. I'm not crazy. They definitely think you're crazy. Cause you are crazy. I'm not crazy. You're, she's crazy y'all. Crazy. What, name one thing, I, name three things I did that was crazy. This is a PG show. <laughs> Y'all don't want me to talk about that. Three things. Anything. We Anything. Gotta, we got to keep it PG. I'm sorry. Yeah. Any three things that made me seem crazy. Things you did aren't PG. Definitely are. I'm an angel. Okay. I don't know why you're looking at me like that. Yeah. Cause you know, Ew. okay. I don't know what you're talking about. That I'm an angel. Yeah, all right. This is good. Fire. Like this is bomb. Like I didn't even know we had a place like this. If I knew this, this is lamb too. Mm -hmm. This, this dude, this, this, this good. This good. My lamb, they're like the animal lamb. This is good. Can you take the extra meat? Cause I have so much meat. I don't want so much meat. You eat it for later. No, I'm not a meat person. Please take the rest of the meat. Mm -hmm. There you go. Meat. That's a lot of meat for him. I'm not a meaty person, so. Meat. I love meat. He can have the meat. Oh, yeah. I gotta, cut, I gotta cut on eating back on pork because it's not good for me. 
So I, I cut pork out of my diet. Now I'm just eating chicken. I'm eating more salads because she introduced me to salads. I'm trying to get my diet a lot better because of her. But when it comes to me, boy, oh boy, oh boy. That's the problem. <clears throat> I honestly could be vegetarian if it wasn't for Chick-fil-A. I've said this many times, and I'm still going to say it. If it wasn't for Chick-fil-A, I could be vegetarian really? easily. Mm -hmm. Really? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Why? There's too much meat on there. Hmm? Too much meats to try. I don't care about meats to try. I love meats to try. But. Y'all, yeah, Olive Garden got the best salad. Hmm? Olive Garden got the best salad. I don't know. That one place that we went to, um, BJ's, this salad was pretty good. BJ's? Yeah. When do we get a salad from there? I got tacos. A Caesar salad? Before we got our, our food? That was a Caesar salad. That's yeah. no plain. That was good. No, it was actually pretty good. I actually thought Miller's um, Caesar salad was better than that. So true. It was just too, like, Cap. it tasted like, you know how some Caesar salads, they do, like, anchovy sauce? That's kind of what it tastes like. Like, fish Caesar sauce. Mm. Maybe it was. I don't know if that's how BJ's is. But maybe it's not. But it's I just, like it. It was good. I didn't like it too much. It was too saucy. It was fine. But Olive Garden's salad? Mm, boy. That was fine. I could eat Olive Garden salad and breadsticks every day for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I really could. I really could. I could. If I had to choose one, if you had to choose one place, like any restaurant or fast food place to eat from for the rest of your life, where would it be? River City. What is that? Best ribs in the. So you're just gonna stretch. You're gonna die at like 32. Yeah, but you asked, and I and you said any place, it gonna be Rib City. What if it was a healthier place, like a healthier option? Chick Fil A. I thought you hated. Chick what are you doing? I hate Chick Fil A's prices. Yeah, go ahead, sit down. But I forgot I hated Dr. Pepper. I don't know how you don't like Dr. Pepper. It's honestly nasty. It's better than Coke. Yeah. But I hate Coke too. But. I don't know why. The only sodas I like, Sprite, Orange Fanta is the best. Orange Fanta. Mm -mm -mm. Is there anything else? Mm -hmm. I like Orange Fanta. Grape Fanta is delicious. You see my mom, that's all she gets. Grape Fanta is good too. It's all right. And that's about it. It's all right. I'm getting full. What about you? I've been full. Yeah, I'm getting full. Which is good. This stuff was what? It was like $10 a plate. And you get drinks and yeah, the side. And you get a lot. Boy. If he full, that's how you know it's a lot. Because he's a lot. He always finishes his food. Always. Well, I'm full, guys. I'm full. She's still eating because she's a fat little piggy. But, <laughs> but that was the end of the video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel until your bell notifications on so you get all the updates on when we post. Be the first ones to view it. You already know what's up. You already know what's going on with a kid. It's your boy Jordan, aka Prince in the building. Oh. And it's me. Hi. Excuse me. And um, I'm out, and I'm gonna continue to eat because I'm gonna continue to eat. Yeah, I'm done. So, ah, peace.